Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back once again, wonderful popios. How are you? Hope you know that after this week, next is your seventh week. Are you preparing for your test? Make sure you downloaded all the videos from week one down to this week six. Read them, study them, read your notes you've made from these videos and go through them so that whatever you see on your test, you could answer them. Tick the correct answers and just submit. Okay, back to what we have right now. We are looking at pre-vocational studies for basic four and our theme is what? Home economics. I repeat, home economics and what? The topic we are looking at is what? The meaning of food safety and risk factors in raw food items. Uh -huh. You'll be like, what is all this? Keep calm and understand. Your learning objectives. I repeat, your learning objectives. By the end of this lesson, you as a learner should be able to 1. State the meaning of food safety. 2. Explain the risk factors of food safety. 3. Li list the reasons for cooking food. Let's look at, let's look at the meaning of food safety. Food safely simply means preventing harmful bacteria from growing in food by keeping the kitchen tools, equipment, and even you, the cook, clean. I repeat, it's the act of preventing harmful bacteria from growing in food by keeping the kitchen tools, equipment, and even you, the cook, clean. When you keep your surroundings and yourself clean and keep your kitchen clean, your food will be safe from death, germs, and bacteria. Bacteria are living organisms that are microscopic in nature. When we say they are microscopic, we tend to tell you that you can't see it with your bare eyes, except with the use of microscope. A bacterium or bacteria can be staying around you and you feel you are what? In a safe and clean environment. Get you a microscope and look around you. You feel like flying because you have deadly things just surrounding you and staring at you like, oh damn, oh damn. So all you have to do is make sure you keep your, your surroundings squeaky, I repeat, squeaky clean. Let's look at risk factors of food safety. The consequences of eating any food raw or any contaminated food is the possible development of diseases. Diseases that occur due to eating of contaminated food, they are called what? Foodborn diseases. When you eat an already spoiled food, a bacteria infested food, you will suffer from what? Foodborn diseases. And these are grouped into two. We have the food poisoning and we have the food infection. Food poisoning is an illness caused by a poison or toxin in the food when eaten. Such poison or toxins are produced by microorganisms. When micro microorganisms such as euglena, bacteria, fungus, algae, and a whole lot of other stuff, especially bacteria, enters your food. <laughs> you are gonna are definitely going to be poisoned you hear you start having feelings like uh running stomach painful stomach fever pains in your body vomiting you you know your system will be corrupt till you take drugs to help fight the diseases that has entered your body or the poisons and now food infection this is an illness caused by a pathogenic organism that is bacteria and viruses carried by the food and transmitted to man. So now let's look at reason why we cook food. It shouldn't be overemphasized why we should cook food, but let's just look at them. They said food is that which is taken, which when taken sustains life. When we take food, 
our life is what sustained so food must be properly cooked or prepared before eating because of the following reasons one cooking makes food easier to eat imagine eating a raw rice like can you finish a plate of raw rice jesus can you finish a, a cup of raw beans no but when it is cooked it becomes easier to eat two it makes food more appetizing and palatable when you're looking at the raw food don't make you want to eat it but when they start cooking it's the aroma that comes out uh, uh, you start what longing for more you start longing to eat it free it makes food easier to digest when you take raw raw rice or raw beans when you eat it you're giving your digestive system some system egg and it should go through a lot of hazards and which will cause you difficulties in future so it's better you cook it so that you digest easily number four it destroys harmful germs in the food yes when we talked about food poisoning and food infection the bacteria that enters the food when you cook it heat steady heat kills bacteria and once that bacteria is dead it cannot do anything to your body you see why you should cook food and number five it preserves the food when you cook the food it preserves it and prevents it from what getting spoiled now you see reasons why we should cook play this video on and on again to understand better and stay safe stay educated see you in another tutorial video bye for now